Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my lightning scope effect, which can be used as a transition for getting to the next shot. And simply, all it is, is just we've got a radial wipe on this scope here, and you can, as you can see, these lightning bolts are coming out of the side, and we've got a bit of glow around the scope. And I'm just going to be showing you how to make this. So let's just take a quick look. So as you can see, that, that looks quite nice, but obviously not in this example, it doesn't because the colours are a bit out, but anyway, you can play around with that. I just did it quickly. So first of all, we're going to drag our clip into a new composition, and then we're just going to go and try find the shot. I'm just going to pick any shot. We'll pick this one here. So now if you use page up and page down, and just go frame by frame, and once you find that shot, we're just going to hit Control Shift D to sp con oh it won't let me because of my recording but anyway we'll just go to edit and then split layer and now on the top one we're just going to hit time and then freeze frame and we'll just drag that out to the full length of the composition and and then for this one we could probably just add some twigs to quickly from the last, so if we just drag Twixter on, we'll fix the frame rate to 59.94. And if we just hide our top layer, we'll just find a good point to Twixter from the last shot, and that looks good. We'll just go forward one frame, hit the stopwatch, go forward one frame, and we'll make it about two. So now we have this Twixter, and then, and then. We've got that. So now with our top layer, we're going to go to layer, pre-compose, and we're going to make sure move all attributes to new composition are select is selected, and we're going to call this lightning scope. Oh, I can't spell scope. And click enter. So now you can see it's into its own composition, and we're just going to double click on the layer to open up its composition. So now we have our freezed our freezed frame, and all we're going to do now is just mask out the the scope. So we're going to go up to our ellipse tool. If you can't see it, just hold down your mouse and go down to ellipse tool and select it. And now we're just going to go to the middle, so where the crosshairs meet, and we're going to click and drag. And now to get a perfect circle, we're going to hold shift. And then to keep it in the center, we're going to hold control at the same time. And now just drag out until get the scope like that and I let go and that looks pretty good and we can just go down to the mask expansion and just get it so it's perfect like that okay now we're going to create the lightning bolts so we're going to make a new solid and we'll call this lightning and then we're going to go to the effects and presets and type in advanced oh advanced lightning and then we're going to drag that onto our solid as you can see we get this bolt but we want it to spread out a bit more so we're going to change the lightning type the breaking so now we get it spread out and we can go down and uh, change the color a bit in the glow settings so I'm going to make it maybe a nice sort of blue color something a bit like that and now as you can see at the moment it's just static so we're going to give it a bit of anim life to it. So we're going to alt-click on the con conductivity. So now we get our expressions, controls up. And we're going to type in wiggle, bracket, 2, comma, 5, and then end bracket, and then just click enter. And all this is going to do, this is just going to animate the, con the, um, the rate at which the um, bolt moves. So now we get this uh, movement, and that that's good. So now we're going to click on our advanced lightning, and we're just going to drag this top position into the center. And then with this bottom one, we're just going to maybe drag it around so up into the top right hand corner. And now we're going to drag this below our clip. So now it's now it's behind, and we're just going to click duplicate, Control D. And we're gonna f and we can right click, transform, and we can flip it horizontal horizontally, and we can click on our advanced lightning, 
and just drag this down a bit so we get a bit of variation. Then we can hit Control D again. And this time we can go transform and we can flip it vertically. And again, just just change this one here to get to make it a bit different. And then Control D again. And this time we can go transform and then flip flip it horizontally. And again, we just make it slightly different to the other one. So now we have this scope, and obviously play around with it until you get something that looks alright. But that looks alright at the moment. And it, but the only thing is, it looks a bit plain. So I think what we'll do is we're going to give it some glow on the outside. So we're going to make right click, new solid, make a new solid, and we'll call this scope glow. And then we're going to type in CC light wipe and then drag that onto our scope glow solid. I'm going to drag this right to the bottom and we're going to reverse the transition first of all, make sure that's ticked and then we're just going to drag it, the completion up until until there's no black ring around the edge and it's just it's just inside our scope and we're going to change the intensity down to maybe 70 and then we can change the color maybe to something the same as your lightning bolt Bit like that okay so now that's done we've made our scope and that looks quite good so we're going to go back to our clip and we're then going to drag in our lightning scope that we just made oh no sorry we don't because we pre-composed it that's fine and then we're just going to go to where the sh where the shot we're going to drag our clip in again sorry and we're just going to put this above and now we're just going to solo it by clicking the one next to the little speaker which will solo it so only this layer is showing and we're just going to try and find our shot which is arrow keys again which is there so now we're going to click alt and then begin bracket now a lot of people get mixed up and I'll just show you which bracket actually is it is not this bracket here the curly one it is that one there, like the uh, straight one. So you're just going to alt and then that bracket to trim the clip. So now we've got this. We're going to, oh, I'll just delete this text there, and we're going to unsolo it, and then we're going to hit shift and then page up to go back ten frames. And if we click this four times, actually make it five to go back fifty frames, and then we're just going to click. Alt and then begin bracket again so that will trim that layer so now we've got our twixted clip here and then we've got this scope but at the moment it just jumps in so what we can do is we can add any transition you want pretty much so you can just come up to effect transition and you can pick any one of these and for now I'm just going to click a really simple radial wipe and we're going to go to the start and we can make it snap by holding shift and we're going to keyframe the uh, transition completion then go to where where our second clip starts here and we're just going to put the completion up to 100 so now you can see it, it wipes round but we've got this sharp edge so we can just put the feather up to about 50 and that will just get rid of that edge and that is basically it guys so now we have our so we have our twixed clip the scope comes in to our next clip actually we don't want it all on all the time so we can just then click alt and then the end bracket for it to trim it at the second clip so it comes in like this and then boom to our next clip there and that is it guys thank you for watching this video and um, there will be a new edit coming out soon which is my gonna be an entry for get cinematics 15k I could probably just show you a quick preview of it if we're right for time yeah, we'll be alright. We'll make a 10 minute video. So, this is it at the moment. It's looking alright. If it would ever load. Yeah, I, I need to get a new computer. But, yeah, so we've, we've got. Yeah. So, yeah, and a lot of people ask me, am I After Effects only editor? And, yes, I am. Yeah, so this, this edit should be coming out. As you can see, I'm using the same clip. And I may do a tutorial on a particle scope transition if this video gets enough likes probably just show you a quick preview of that I think it's here so if I just go forward a bit so as you can see we've got 
the same it's the same sort of concept but we've got all these particles around the edge which looks pretty cool so if we get enough likes and then I may decide to do that but yeah that's it so expect this edit to be out in the next week or so I'm gonna be trying to get more active now that my exams are out of the way so yeah thanks for watching guys and yeah come check me out um, more, more tutorials in the future thanks a lot see ya